Happiness is the prize of experience for all sentient beings. It's that state that elicits the positive reaction. It's the thing that makes us feel satisfied with the journey of life. It's the experience that often comes as a culmination of you working toward a certain outcome, which is why happiness is often perceived as the desired destination that comes as a result of effort and you striving to achieve something that will bring you that desired happiness. However, the quest for happiness often paradoxically places you on the other side of it. Because in seeking happiness, you may actually start to separate yourself from the state of intrinsically experiencing that state. Which is why it's very important for us to discern between the authentic state of joy and the illusory state of happiness, which can trap you in the long-term feeling of inadequacy. So what is happiness really? Happiness is a state of consciousness. It's a state of deep fulfillment and contentment with where you are in life at the present moment. It's a state of not needing to run toward or away from anyone or anything. It's the state of detachment from the desired outcome. Because true happiness is the abiding state of bliss. When you can ascertain the importance of the present moment and feel no need to look for anything outside of it. This is the kind of happiness that is not fleeting and permeates you with a feeling of deep joy and inner peace. But this kind of happiness is rare because what most people believe to be happiness is an illusory state of gratification, a state of superficially meeting their own needs in order to eliminate the feeling of being disconnected from the source of pain or discomfort. There's a very big difference between being disconnected from pain and actually appreciating the present moment deeply enough to experience genuine happiness. How can we know the difference? Well, genuine happiness is never achieved as the result of running away from something. When we set happiness on such a pedestal that we create an illusory environment for ourselves to enter in order to experience a desired image of ourselves that we believe will make us feel happy, we're already defeating ourselves along the journey to what we think is going to bring us joy. True joy is an authentic state of being. It's the state of understanding yourself so deeply that you can find alignment in all aspects of your life that leads you toward the awareness of what it means to fall in love with the present moment and with the way that things just are right now. This state of joy requires no acquisition of anything materialistic or otherwise into your life. It is simply the state of surrendering all interference projected by your consciousness that places you at odds with your state of alignment. Alignment is simple. It requires no addition of anything into your life that you might think is necessary to achieve happiness. It requires no substitution of adverse elements in your life in order to achieve that desired state of joy. In other words, alignment is achieved simply by you deciding within yourself that you are going to be aligned, that you're going to choose to be happy in this present moment without craving, without needing to have anything else enter your zone of awareness, because you realize that happiness is quite literally in your hands, because happiness is a state that you create in the here and now. In today's world, there are infinite interpretations for happiness. For some people, happiness is a vanity metric. It means the number of followers they have on Instagram, the amount of fame or popularity they harbor. For others, it's the number of friends they have or their social status. For yet others, it's all about abundance and materialistic value and possessions. For others still, happiness has nothing to do with materialism and it's all about the internal state of peace. It's about purpose perhaps, how much you can give to the world and feel like you are providing value to both yourself and other people through the quality of your life. All these different forms and flavors of happiness are really a reflection of how we feel about ourselves. For as long as we place happiness on a pedestal or believe that happiness is some desired outcome that can be achieved when we change ourselves to accommodate this impression of us being happy, we're actually placing ourselves at opposite base with our true joy. Because happiness has nothing to do with what we achieve or what we create with our lives. It has everything to do with how we feel about ourselves and life as a whole. This understanding of our deep inner dimension of feeling allows us to sculpt a path to happiness 
through happiness. In other words, when happiness is seen not as the destination but as the journey, we really can approach the heart of the matter. Because happiness is an experience that is lived through continuous focus on what you can do as a conscious being to elevate your frequency, therefore elevating the entire frequency of the collective. If you can see yourself as a vessel of consciousness, then your purpose in the present moment is simply to choose alignment, to choose to harmonize. And in doing so, you choose to elevate your frequency consistently, which means your happiness is always on the rise. If you can come to recognize that your purpose is actually to activate your bliss body and activate your awareness so deeply that you can experience happiness all the time as a product of your conscious awareness, you can start to see how happiness has nothing to do with the deterministic model of looking at how causes and effects unfold. Happiness is never the effect. It's rather the cause of everything that brings you even more satisfaction and alignment in life. I'll repeat that. If you can come to see happiness as the cause of all favorable positive effects in your life, you will see how happiness is actually determined by your ability to hold space for it. So think about it. How do you need to change within yourself to accommodate more happiness? How can you allow happiness to rule your life in such a way that you are not seeking it or chasing it anymore? That you are not looking to prove to anybody else that you are happy by choosing to attain some metric of happiness, which is really just a metric of your own vanity. If you believe that happiness is something that you must acquire in the form of any materialistic object that allows you to appear happy, then you're simply placing happiness in the materialistic box of your ego's perception. The ego and the soul have two different forms of happiness as projected through their individual lenses of perspective. And we, of course, as dualistic vessels of awareness, have the ability to perceive through either lens. Our goal, I believe, is to integrate both, to see how our ego can support our soul's quest for deeper alignment by choosing to see that happiness is the function of both. If we can egoically find ourselves aligning with happiness through purpose, through an identification with what it means for us to feel joy through authentic expression of ourselves, that we can find ourselves aligning with more happiness through more authenticity, through more love, through more connection, and through doing more things purposefully rather than unintentionally in our lives. If we can learn to live intentionally and to see that happiness is acquired in every single moment that we choose to authentically place ourselves in a position of personal empowerment in the present moment, then every single thing in our lives could potentially be the conduit for our happiness. We can come to see every even mundane moment of our experience as a seed of happiness if we choose to activate our potential along it. If we choose to strive to achieve more alignment, more awareness, and more connection in every moment of now, then happiness will just be the backdrop of our experience because we can come to love ourselves through every moment of life, which is just a container for experiencing ever more love. These concepts are all interwoven. Love, happiness, authenticity, bliss, awareness, presence, unconditionality, and joy. Because if you can come to see that life is a playground for the spectrum of consciousness to unfold itself, then you can see how it's actually your choice to align with the positive end of the spectrum for as long as you allow yourself to align that deeply. Most people who are seeking happiness are trapping themselves in the illusion that happiness is something that comes as the result of them doing what their ego thinks they must do in order to achieve the desired outcome. But that desired outcome already comes through the lens of judgment. It comes through the understanding that you are not whole unless you achieve X, Y, and Z factor. Maybe you feel that if you attain a certain thing that your ego believes is a necessary component of happiness, then you will be able to please other people, allowing you to achieve the desired validation and acceptance to feel happy and content within yourself. But for as long as you use happiness to bolster your identity in the eyes of other people, you're actually distancing yourself from what your true source of bliss is. Because happiness is true inner peace, which is a state of you being detached from others' perceptions. In this state of happiness, you have no desire to achieve a reaction from other people because you will already feel so satisfied within yourself that you have no desire to prove anything to anyone at all. 
Most people these days do not understand that they can be authentic generators of their own happiness because the connection to self is eroded very often in early childhood. Most people fail to see that they are blockading their own happiness by limiting their ability to fully love and accept themselves. If you cannot hold space for your genuine feelings, for your acceptance of the world, through your own perspectives, through your own opinions, through your own characteristics that must be uniquely cherished and expressed in order for you to find your authentic role in the world, you will not be able to see how happiness is actually up to you. Unless you can learn to curate your unique experience of happiness through the spectrum of your consciousness, you will always think that happiness is something that must be randomly automated by your universal experience. You may think that some people are happy because destiny has happiness in their chart. Or you may think that some people are blessed with happiness because they just happen to be luckier or be in the right place at the right time. But what if I told you that happiness is actually your ability to find yourself as lucky as you want to be? as aligned as you want to be, as connected as you wish to see yourself connected to the universe at large? What if happiness is your energetic alignment to the positioning within yourself that equivocates source consciousness's ability to stay aligned and to find coherence? You as a unique individual have the ability to either deviate from your source of happiness or to come back home to your true colors of your spirit to understand who you are, and through doing so, you can come to unlock the keys within your awareness to just be happy without any ulterior motive, without needing to have anything that you don't already have, or needing to become anyone who you currently are not. Happiness through this perspective is the easiest state to accommodate. It's the state of you simply being who you are, and releasing all attachments to any falsity and illusions that may occupy your inner or outer matrix. It means choosing to abolish the conditioning that sets you at odds with the state of authentic peace and choosing to become somebody that society once programmed you to want to be. It means choosing to eradicate any limiting programs that tell you you are lesser than you actually are or that you need to sabotage your happiness to please somebody or something. In order to be truly happy, you must understand who you are. You must understand what you're worth. And you must know that you are ultimately deserving of joy regardless of what you have been conditioned to believe. To be joyous means you must depend more on your internal compass to align with what you are in alignment with than based on any other metrics of what you think alignment must mean through the lens of your ego. It means you must choose to feel and think with your heart and align naturally with what your mind allows you to configure yourself toward in this quest for true alignment. Rather than aiming to seek joy, aim to be yourself. Aim to love your experience more deeply and to follow your joy through the connection of all elements in your life. If you can see that you are occupying a simulation of your own mind's creation, then what is it that you currently are still holding on to that makes happiness not a permanent backdrop of your experience? Why would any other theme permeate your reality? Think about what you can do to change the coloring of this palette of your consciousness, to connect more dots and to see the meaning in all things, bringing you closer to the state of joy. Bliss is ultimately a choice, and it is in your destiny to align with it, if only you choose to surrender all aspects of the disintegration that may have programmed you to believe that you are worth anything less than true bliss.